Hi guys, today we are going to learn about operation of transformer with magnetic leakage flux. Okay, so let us consider phi L is the leakage flux. Okay, magnetic leakage flux is some amount of load component of flux which links with either HV winding or LV winding, but not both the windings. Okay, which links with either HV winding or LV winding. So this is the magnetic core of the transformer. So it is having two windings. One winding is called primary winding and another winding is called secondary winding. Okay, winding which is connected to source is called primary winding and a winding which is connected to load is called secondary winding. Okay, so uh, whenever source is connected, a no load component of current will flow through the transformer and it is having, let us say, n1 number of turns. So, E1 is the EMF induced. E1 is the EMF induced. Okay, some amount of flux will produce in the primary winding will links with the secondary winding. Will links with the secondary winding like this. Let us say, this flux is phi. Phi is the flux flowing through the magnetic core. Now, to the transformer secondary winding, let us assume a load is connected. Let us say L is the load. Okay. Whenever load is connected, definitely some amount of current will flow. That is load current I2. Whenever I2 amount of current flows, which results in production of phi 2 flux. Now, what we have to do is, we have to satisfy this phi 2 flux. For thus, this primary winding is taking some additional amount of current that is I1 dash, which results in production of phi 1 dash. Okay which results in production of phi 1 dash. So, from this, we can say that the flux of phi 1 dash is greater than phi. Am I correct or not? Okay. So, for leakage flux, what is the cause for the leakage flux? We can say leakage flux is due to phi 1 dash. Okay. We can say leakage flux is due to phi 1 dash. Let us say phi L1 is the leakage flux in the primary winding. If phi L is the leakage flux, it is better to follow this convention that is phi L1 is the leakage flux in the primary winding and similarly phi L2 phi L2 is the leakage flux in the secondary winding. Okay. In general, this leakage flux is not having a role in the transfer of power from one circuit to another circuit. See here. So, magnetic leakage flux, leakage flux will not participate in the transfer of power from one circuit to another circuit. Okay. So, but whenever, whenever leakage flux in the transformer increases, leakage flux increases, what happens is power transfer capability, power transfer capability of the transformer decreases. Power transfer capability of the transformer decreases. Okay. So, whenever the leakage flux increases, power transfer capability decreases and leakage current, sorry, leakage flux will not participate in, will not participate in transfer of power from one circuit to another circuit. Okay. See here, 
when our load increases on the transformer what happens okay why i am uh, um, posing this question over here is so this concept is related to a leakage flux see whenever whenever load increases whenever load increases load increases on transformer what happens whenever load increases magnetic leakage flux available in the primary and secondary windings increases so what increases magnetic leakage flux available available in the primary what is the magnetic leakage flux available in the primary winding let us say phi l1 which is considered and phi l2 what happens to phi l1 and phi l2 increases okay whenever load increasing means the current demand by the secondary winding that is let us say load current demand by the secondary winding increases which results in increase in leakage flux in the primary winding and leakage flux in the secondary winding okay so this is the first thing that will happen and the magnetic leakage flux depends on load current here we have seen that we have seen that whenever load current increases leakage flux increases and phi l2 increases okay so the leakage flux magnetic leakage flux let us say phi l is not depend will not depends on depends on applied voltage okay it will not depends on applied voltage see magnetic leakage flux the phi l depends on phi l depends on what factor load current so phi l is current dependent we can say phi l is a current dependent quantity current dependent quantity but the main field flux main field flux we have considered phi what is phi phi is the main field flux this quantity this quantity is voltage dependent voltage dependent see here the leakage flux leakage flux phi l1 phi l1 the leakage flux phi l1 is always in phase with in phase with which current is in phase with i1 and phi l2 phi l2 is in phase with sorry the phi l1 is in phase with i1 and phi l2 is in phase with i2 so phi l1 is the leakage flux in the primary winding this leakage flux is in phase with corresponding current i1 phi l2 is the leakage flux in the secondary winding this leakage flux is in phase with the secondary current i2 okay so one more thing is due to these leakage fluxes some amount of emf will also be induced in the circuit okay so due to these leakage fluxes some amount of emfs let us say e phi l1 is the emf induced due to the leakage flux phi l1 and e phi l2 is the emf induced due to leakage flux phi l2 okay this e phi l1 is always lags behind the respect to load current by lags behind the respect to load current by how much angle 
90 degrees and this is also lags behind the respect to load current by 90 degrees okay see here if you assume that this is the current i1 this is the current i1 then five l1 is in phase with the respective current and the emf induced lags behind the flux this is e phi l1 by 90 degrees okay so the similarly in case of uh, secondary leakage emf also the same thing if this is i2 if this is i2 then phi l2 is the leakage flux e phi l2 is the leakage induced emf okay whatever may be the thing the emf induced due to flux always lags 90 degrees always lags by 90 degrees okay so one more thing is see whenever any change in secondary current suddenly happens if secondary current changes secondary current changes then automatically what happens is primary current also changes with respect to secondary current primary also changes primary also changes immediately primary also changes okay why uh, whenever secondary current is changing the primary current is changing due to maintain constant flux in the transfer okay so any change in the secondary current see here any change in secondary current what happens then automatically corresponding to that value corresponding to that value the primary current also changes primary current also changes okay so as to maintain the flux remains unaltered so as to maintain flux unaltered so initially we said that transformer is a constant flux device constant flux device so as to maintain the flux constant whenever current in the secondary winding changes suddenly so with corresponding to that value i1 also changes okay so this is how the transformer operate with the leakage of flux okay so the leakage of flux is mainly due to change in load change in shadow load okay so thank you